<laughs> hey, what's going on, you degenerates of the lesser internet? Uh, off topic. Off fucking topic. Um, wanted to wanted to kind of speak my mind, and today's topic is going to be uh, how I don't give a fuck anymore. Uh, it was very short lived. I don't though. I want to. I just don't. So <clears throat> let me jump into it. So I haven't done a video for about oh, uh, two weeks now. There hasn't been tons of gaming content I really wanted to cover, and then all of a sudden, overnight, there's like three giant stories, each of them I could do multiple videos on, and I was kind of excited. I'm going to jump back into things, um, but instead of doing a bunch of videos, I'm just going to do like one longer video, because that's like what I do. <laughs> but um, before I do that, I'm going to make this off-topic video. I'm going to do something a little bit different, too. I'm going to film this video, upload it, well, I'm going to set it to private, and then after I upload the new video, my, uh, my on-topic gaming content, um, I'm going to unprivate this one like maybe a day later. See what that does. See what that does. I don't know if it's automatically going to upload to BitChute or what. I have no, no fucking idea. But hopefully the, the point is, is that nobody will really see this until like a day later and then only like my followers who you know g give a fuck about what i have to say get a fucking you know see this shit so this is basically just for them <clears throat> i'm just trying to hide it a little bit because you know i don't know i just i i i want to do gaming content i don't want to do like off topic content but i do want to do occasionally uh an off topic video so that's what i'm gonna do Anyway, today's topic is about how I don't give a fuck specifically about um, politics. And I... <sighs> never been a huge political person. Um, so my history with politics, I'm not going to go back pre-2016 or anything like that. But... Um, <clears throat> I did not vote for Donald Trump in 2016, and oh, I didn't vote for anybody in 2016. I think I penciled in some, some someone stupid, but I, I didn't vote in 2016. I did vote. Uh, the, the first person I actually did vote for, you know, was Donald Trump in 2020, and um, yeah. That's 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 my history. I'm not a I'm not a Donald Trump supporter. I'm not a MAGA guy. I just voted for him because uh well, so many people voted for um someone else not Donald Trump because they hate Donald Trump so much. In a way, I understand that. I think it's fucking stupid. I think it's fucking stupid because, I mean, let's be honest, Biden is so much worse in so many ways. But, uh, you know, I, at least I understand and respect that. Same thing for me. I voted for Trump not because I am a big Trump fan, but because I hate the alternative that much. I hate... I, I hate everything about... The, the politics in this country. Now, I really haven't been paying attention until about 2016. It's not like I woke up one day and decided, hey, I'm getting to be about that age. I'm in my 30s. I need to start paying attention to politics. No! <laughs> That's not how it was at all. I mean, even right now, if you watch my regular content, you could tell how reserved I'm being right now that I'm not hollering Trump at the top of my lungs because here I am living in Seattle and everybody in my condo will be able to fucking hear me and I don't know if fucking everyone's gonna fucking bring it to the board and vote me out or some shit like that because they think I'm a big fucking Trump supporter. That fucking sucks. That's the world we live in. That's the world I live in. I don't know about you. 
No, you could be in Canada. I, I, I got some followers in Canada, New Zealand. I looked at my metrics once, and I had a couple people that watched my shit from Canada, from New Zealand, the UK. Um, that's cool, but, you know, he, like here in the US, uh, I don't know how these politics affect you personally. But I can tell you how they affect me personally, as a dude, as a white dude, living in Seattle. You know, like I said, I, I, I'm I afraid to even fucking say his name. Say Voldemort. <laughs> no, that would be the fucking uh, the whistleblower that you can't say his name. Otherwise, all of social media will remove your fucking video and post and ban you and shit like that. That's Voldemort. <laughs> no, I can't even say Trump without fucking Trump! <laughs> Fuck you guys! <laughs> can't even fucking say you know, Trump out loud without fear of, you know, my community members in my uh, condo maybe fucking, you know, having a meeting about me and voting me out because they feel unsafe or some shit like that. I don't know. Th that, I don't know. I really fucking don't. I live in the Seattle area. Shit's fucking crazy here. Shit's bonkers here. And I just don't give a fuck anymore. So, I'm making this video about Trump and politics and the, the election, which was fucking stolen. I mean, I, I've been watching Tim Pool and Sticks, Hex, and Hammer and uh, fucking, what's his name? The gay guy who they pretend is alt-right when he's as leftist as left could be. Fucking uh, Rubens. Not as much of him, but I've been watching him. Um, they're all like center left liberal libertarian dudes and they're all labeled as alt-right and um that just adds a layer of that just adds another layer to everything too it's like i i understand that they're like getting censored every fucking day they're getting demonetized they're being suppressed and they're being falsely labeled as you know alt-right and right wing and it it's kind of sad it, I, I get that now Nothing like that has happened to me personally because I'm not – first of all, I'm not on social media. There's a reason why. It's because this shit is fucking nuts. This shit is fucking nuts. Um, I'll give an example. I'll give an example. Shout out to my uh, my resident uh, – I don't want to call him a troll. My, re my resident goon. He fucks with me. Um, you know, it's appreciated. You know what I mean? You know, you gotta learn to, uh, you know, have a sense of humor and take things with stride. And I mean, if anyone knows, <clears throat> this is like like multi-layered and stuff. Like, I don't want to call him a troll. He's got multiple accounts. It's the same guy, but there's like multiple accounts, and he'll shit post, which is fine. I'm I'm all for shit posting, but he'll shit post on my videos and flip me shit. Sometimes it's hilarious, and I love it, and I welcome it. Other times, it honestly kind of bothers me, and I wish he wouldn't say some of the shit he would say. Call me fat. Don't fucking call me fat, you faggot. <laughs> it hurts my feelings. And then he did a prank where he um, posed as uh, somebody I knew in real life, and made an, alt an alternate account surrounding this person, and... Um, trolled me and i i didn't appreciate that very much because you know i'm not down with the the personal stuff you know but uh, this is the reason why i'm not on social media because this guy um alluded to a situation that really happened to me so basically on social media a few years ago um it was actually a, my wedding photo it was a wedding photo um, my cousin, we were all taking shots and stuff, and it was an awkward photo. I know who fucking snapped the picture, too. It was one of my deceased mom's old friends who we invited to the wedding. I haven't seen in years, and she came over, and she's, oh, the son is getting married, hi! And she got there drunk, and everybody, you know, half the people there didn't know who the fuck she was and thought she was gonna steal or something. It's like, nah, 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 she's fine she's fine she's already drunk before she showed up shoving shots in everyone's face it was good times good times she snapped this awkward fucking photo of uh me my wife and uh my cousin and my cousin 
in the photo looked like she was about to fucking rip my face off. She wasn't. She wasn't. She was just toasting and she had just drank her shot and she had a... It was just an awkward photo where she looked like she was gonna fucking, fucking eat me alive. And so I captioned the photo and I put a caption on it and jokingly I wrote... You know, in the in the famous uh, voice of uh, uh, Tourette's guy, you know, <clears throat> don't talk sh don't talk shit about Total. <laughs> I wrote, don't talk shit about Donald Trump. <laughs> I put that caption on it. If anyone gets the, the 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 Total reference, I put that caption on it and I shared it on Facebook. It was a good laugh. Um, I have maybe at the time. 30, 35 people on my friends list on Facebook. Not a huge Facebook guy. I thought it was fun, funny. See, everybody on my friends list on Facebook are people I know. People that I like. You know, if I flip shit, you know, if I flip my cousin some shit, everybody's going to get it's a joke. Nobody's going to get upset. You know what I mean? My cousin has is one of those people that has like 10,000 followers and friends. She knows every fake fuck and friend and family member of these fake fucks that she's ever met in her life. And she gets around. She knows so many people. One of her job that she has currently is she's a liaison for a warehouse and her job is to fucking she's a, a consultant. She goes out to other companies and meets tons of people. So, I, I just forgot that every single one of her, like, followers on Facebook will see this picture. I'm just sharing a picture about my cousin to my cousin. Like, I tagged her in it. Apparently, I'm not allowed to do that, because fuck me. I'm not allowed to fucking do that, because I don't get how social media works. Suddenly, I'm the fucking... The fucking tech guy, the gamer, who who everyone in their family goes to because they think I know, you know, all about computers. Suddenly, I'm the motherfucker that doesn't get how social media works. No, I get how it works. It's a fucking shithole. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> you guys just like it. I don't like it. So, I, I, I got tons of backlash, man. Tons. Just, just think if you make a tweet... Or a, a post or whatever the fuck on whatever video about your friend or family member or something like that. And then you get just f fucking tons of shit from 100,000 people you don't know. All freaking the fuck out. This was like two years into uh, Donald's uh, second term. So this is like 2018, maybe 2017. Hmm. So, the kind of shit I got were from random people calling me names and just freaking out. And there's another dynamic there, too. Like, a lot of people were commenting on it. Like, people I didn't even know commenting on my picture on my personal profile and shit. Comment, commenting on it, saying shit like, uh, Oh, I, I had no idea. Like, like they're fucking coming out. It, you know, to say that they had cancer or something like that. Oh my god, I I had no idea. I, I'm not necessarily, a, I don't necessarily a hate you or anything like that. Who starts the sentence off like that? <laughs> of course, my story here isn't very special. It was maybe two years ago. It's not special. I'm sure everybody has some sort of personal story where, you know, either they're the core person one of the core players in the fucking game, or they were a bystander, or they saw some shit like this go down. I'm sure everyone's got their story. It happens all the fucking time. I know it, you know it, but it's very weird when it happens to you. So, I had a bunch of people say weird shit to me, but m like a third of it was people saying weird shit to me, a third of it was saying weird shit to my cousin, and, um... The other third was just people who laughed. Now, this goes... Her... One of her family members on her dad's side, which is... I'm related to her on her mom's side. 
one of her family members on her dad's side just started ripping into me and calling me an asshole. This was a guy who I've known for years. You know, she would fucking take a plane down to California, spend the weekend there at her family's house down there two, three times a fucking year for maybe a week or two, come back with gifts and presents to everyone. Like her grandmother and grandfather, uh, uh, her grandfather wrote a book. Apparently it was a pretty good book. I gave it to uh, my wife to read. She actually loves it. My wife reads all the fucking time. Like I... I know of these people, you know? And this guy fucking, and he knew who I was, just started ripping me a new one, calling me an asshole and saying I'm a shitty person and all this weird stuff. And, you know, I, you know, I don't care who it is. I don't care what the relationship is there. I don't care about the personal politics there. When shit like that happens, you know, it's like, fuck it. You know, I'm not going to give them the benefit of the doubt because they know someone or I'm afraid to... Nah, he wanted to let loose into me. I'm going to let loose into him. Called him a faggot. Called him a child molester. Like, you know, but, like I didn't even like debate with him or anything like that. I mean, maybe a little bit. I basically said, bro, it was a fucking joke. Number one, grow up. Two, you ain't fucking defending no one. You ain't defending shit from, what, her family? Like, I'm closer related to her than you are. Like, you didn't even know she existed until she was, like, five. The fuck are you talking about? Starts fucking drawing lines in the sand and shit. Who means more to her than the... <laughs> what? But I said, you know, I went all out. He, every time he called me a name, I called him a name back. He called me a jackass and an asshole. I called him a faggot and a child molester. Because he's a fucking faggot. He's a fucking chimo. I don't give a fuck. You don't want to, you know, and then he started getting all uppity and shit about that. I had to tell him, you know, look, man, you don't sit there and call me names and then get offended when I call you names back. You know, I'm sorry I didn't get that pre-approved list of you know, applicable insults that I'm allowed to fucking say back when you fucking just start, you know, going off on me for no reason. It was so fucking weird. Um, a, a couple of weird things happened after that. Uh, first of all, um, I had an old friend of mine that I just touched up with, like, maybe two days before that. I haven't seen him for a while. He moved out to, I think it was Montana, and we were chopping it up getting to know each other again, and he was talking about taking a trip back up to uh, Washington, and maybe he'd stop up here and say hi and stuff. In the middle of all this, he kind of caught wind of what was going on, and he chimed in in the comment section too, and he, he fucking was on fire. Just for... I, I didn't know he, he was a... Uh, he had Trump derangement syndrome, and he just went nutso on me. And he, I was like, what is your deal? <laughs> really? But he fixated on the fact that I called um, called this guy a faggot. I guess he has like a faggot son or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't know. But oh, you, and he was like DMing me and shit. Oh, you piece of shit. You piece of human filth. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I used to be in the army and if I fucking saw you in person, you would not be standing right now and all this shit. I was like, God damn, dude. I thought you were supposed to be my friend. It's like, what are you talking about? That you saw him fucking call me names first. Man. Some things, man. You ain't, allowed to, you ain't allowed to call people a faggot. I'll call someone a faggot if they're calling me names first. It's not my opening. It's not my opening up. It's not my starter. <laughs> it's not my opening fucking pitch. If I disagree with someone... It's just something that I'd say to someone if, uh, you know, they want to be a jerk off and start calling me names, you know? I'm up for being civil, but, you know, you don't just start calling people names. I don't know. So that's one thing that happened is, you know, my friend, like, that just, that relationship got severed right then and right there, and which was crazy. And then, of course, you know, my cousin felt like she had to pick sides because she's a girl, and I've noticed 
Well, girls pick sides. Girls will pick fucking sides. If there's ever an argument or a disagreement, you know, there ain't no fucking chick that's like, hey, hey guys, we need to come together right now and not argue. Let's just do this. That's never fucking happened. <laughs> they always pick a fucking side. Come here, you. Fuck you. <laughs> that's how it fucking goes. At least in my family. I've had many a squabbles in my family, uh, witnessed many a squabbles in my family, and it's always a dividing line. I was always, I always stood alone, uh, neither defending or attacking either side. Just being there, being like, hey guys, hey girls, can you, can you get ya? Mom, Jean, can y'all shut the fuck up? Come on, man. It's Christmas. Do we have to do this again? You know, that was me. Everybody else was on one person's side or the other. Everybody. You know? And it really sucks. And that's exactly what my cousin did. She fucking picked a side. Uh, guess whose side she picked? Mine or her grandfather's? Give it a second. If you guessed me, you're right. She didn't pick my fucking side, are you fucking kidding me? She didn't pick my fucking side. She called me. She called me. Um, she didn't fucking type anything or write anything. She called me. And I remember getting that call like a day later. You know, like, oh, it's my cousin. I'm going to tell her, you know, hey, wasn't this funny? <laughs> She, I, I picked up the phone and she was scream crying at me. <laughs> Man, I had to tell her, calm down. Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> he was calling me names first. He's 80 fucking years old. You're such a child! Why do you, you... You said yourself he's 80 years old. You're 80 years old. What's he doing screaming... Calling me on fucking Facebook for? Well, he's calling me names first. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Uh, she wanted me to delete it. I should just repost it again. Re the same fucking picture right now. I should just go on there. I haven't been on my Facebook in like a year. I should just go on there right now... Repost the same goddamn picture. <laughs> oh, my wife would kill me if I did that. <laughs> yeah, so that shit fucking happened, and that was like my last like real interaction on social media. Actually, it wasn't my last one. My last interaction on social media is my um, Twitter my Twitter account attached to my porn account. I have. Got banned. I got slapped with a false DMCA claim. Actually, I gotta be honest. I don't know if it's false. Yeah, it's false. I was just sharing a fucking picture I found on the fucking internet. I shared a fucking picture for my fucking, um, on my, uh, account. And I got, um, a fucking false flag by the fucking photographer. Even though I got it from the free site. It, like, the free version and everything, so... Yeah, I got fucking hit with a DMCA claim, and then I, my account got banned. That was my last interaction on, like, social media. Was my porn account. Like, a little bit after that. But, personally, I'm not on social media. This was my last, like, real interaction. After that, I was like, fuck it. I don't, I don't need this shit. I might fucking go to message a friend of mine or a family or something like this and they fucking freak out because they can't fucking hang with an other you know somebody else might see that they're friends with so and so or they support whatever that is not my fucking world man that is not my fucking world I don't want it so <clears throat> My uh, follower, my guy, my uh, my shit poster. Can I call you a shit poster? Can I can I call you a shit poster? There's nothing wrong with shit posting, but it's fun to do so, you know. But uh, yeah, my shit poster. He uh, 
He fucking got, got entangled with all that. How did he do it? Um, he, uh, he and a couple of other people found my, uh, personal Facebook account, like, years ago. And, uh, 4chan group. Which is, like, why? Whatever. Um, I had to, like, go back and I had changed, like, my, uh, URL from my real name, uh, from my... Changed my URL from uh, my my screen name is Turbo 1984 to my real name, so the two couldn't be linked together. I removed all posts and stuff re referring to my gamer tag and online persona, so the real me and is Turbo are separate, completed now. Um, but yeah, him and a couple other goons went on there and got my real info, and which is weird. And then here, a couple of years later, the shit poster like use that against me for the, like this elaborate joke it wasn't that funny it wasn't that fucking funny I smelled the fakeness of it I knew it wasn't fucking him uh, you know what your uh, mistake was well a, a few mistakes first of all you were referenced my relationship with my cousin like it's bad it's not that's number one number two the dude's 80 years old and he doesn't fucking talk about beating no one's ass. Like, even in the, the original messages, he wasn't talking about he would whip my ass or anything like that. That's your second mistake. And your third mistake is you referenced... I know I brought it up first, but you referenced, you know, 2A, like, you were gonna fucking do something. He does not believe in guns at all. <laughs> that was your third and final mistake. And so I was like, nah, this ain't the real guy. And I was like, who could it be? Well, there's really only one other guy that tries to fuck with me, so. Anyway, kind of ranting about shit there. Where am I going with all this? Fucking social media is garbage. Social media is fucking garbage. And it fucking sucks. Everybody's afraid to... Even the people who are, like, firmly implanted in social media and try to follow all the rules and think that they have nothing to hide and everything, even they're afraid. They are afraid. People do different shit. I'm afraid when it comes to certain things and not afraid when it comes to others. I am free of that fear when it comes to a lot of shit. Case in point, I will freely say faggot. Even record myself doing it, put it up on YouTube. I have no problem doing that. I can say nigger. You know, within context. Hell, I'll even call someone that if they want to call me a racial slur first. Like I said, I don't give a fuck. You know, if you want to be racist and call names, I have no shame in climbing down the muck with you. So I have no problem saying these fucking things. You know, I'm not going to fucking get, like, canceled years later. And if I do, I don't... Well, first of all, I'm not going to get that big years later. It's not like I'm, you know, this time next year I'm going to have a million followers and I'm going to be finally making some ad revenue and... No, 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 no. That ain't happening. <laughs> that ain't fucking happening. I'm just some fucking dude saying some shit I want to fucking say because I want to vent. And I don't really give a fuck. I do what I want to do. Because I want to fucking do it. Not because other people want me to fucking do it. Case in point. <clears throat> you know, a lot of people are afraid. And that's why they act the way they do. Like, my cousin acted the way she did. And that fucking dude acted the way he did. And then my friend who I, you know, chopped it up with. Who, uh, didn't want anything to do with me because I made a Trump joke. Uh, oh, no, no. It was, I, 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 I called someone faggot. That's the reason why. <laughs> and him and his faggot son <laughs> got him mad. <laughs> um, I was thinking of whether or not I should dox him. Apparently he's like on Twitch and he's got a couple thousand followers and he streams every like Wednesday and some shit like that. Starcraft. Maybe send my shit poster over his way. Flip him some shit. Pop a link so we could see, so we could see me calling his son a faggot or some shit like that. Nah, I ain't gonna do that. I don't like starting shit. I'll end shit. I'll end shit, but I won't start it. I'll keep shit going, but.
but no. Um, yeah, everybody's afraid. They all acted this way because they're afraid of what people would think of them and how people would treat them if they didn't. You know? The random guy who commented on my cousin saying, hey, uh, I don't hate you or anything if that's the way you feel, but... You know, I just want to let you know I support your decision, even though I disagree. Like, that guy... That guy isn't getting cancelled. Nobody's talking about him but me right now. Nobody cares. Nobody referenced him. He's not afraid. Other people are afraid, though. Other people said the shit they fucking said because they are afraid. And it just weirds me out. Like, when you're faced with a decision, you don't make a decision because you're afraid. Now, I don't have to scream Trump in my condominium, you know? I don't have to fucking do that. Nothing's pressuring me to do it. But if a fucking imp, you know, comes up to me and says, Hey, I'm part of your life forever now. You must now scream Trump. And if you don't, it's because you're afraid. Like, that's not a choice I'm faced with. Faced with. Fucking packages. I can't get it. <laughs> that's not a choice I'm afraid, uh, faced with but if it was one I wouldn't like having to make that choice but the choice I would make what it would be I, I would scream it um, so I'm not afraid to do something like that but at the same time I don't have to go out of my way to alienate myself these people go out of their way to alienate themselves because they're afraid that they're going to get cancelled in one form or another and the whole country is like that. That was just a little personal fucking story of mine that, that, that was multifaceted. It has to do with cancel culture. has to do with my personal family a little bit and the weirdos on Facebook, social media. And it even the, my, fucking, uh, my fucking shit poster here on my uh, Is Turbo 1984 channel. All of that's kind of in, in, intertwined together. And people are just afraid. And people act funky when they're afraid. But at the same time, people show their true colors when they're afraid. You know? They show what side of the fence they're on, what they're willing to fight for, what they're not willing to fight for, and whether or not, and this is the big one for me, whether or not they're willing to fight for the wrong reasons. There is no reason why an 80-year-old man that's technically my family needs to berate me and call me names in front of thousands of people on social media because for any reason you know you know unless he's fucking like calling me an asshole i think he called me a jackass and an asshole i think that's all he fucking the actual names he called me but unless he's like calling me an asshole in front of a stage of like a thousand people i would i would have no reason to call him anything back you know but he did And it sucks. And the whole world is like that. Now, here we are in... We got a couple of days before Trump is out of office. He's still your president right now. And, like I said, this isn't really about Trump. Um, just wanting to let people know where I stand. I didn't vote for him in 2016. I voted for nobody. But it wasn't like, oh, I didn't vote. I made the decision not to vote. I made the fucking decision not to because I didn't like any of the candidates. In 2016, I actually liked Trump. I wish, you know, I wish maybe, you know, if it was between Trump and Andrew Yang, maybe I would have voted for Andrew Yang. If it was between Trump and Tulsi Gabbard, maybe I would have voted for uh, Tulsi. But other than that... Trump pretty much had it in. I, I was voting for Trump. Certainly wasn't going to vote for Bernie, communist Sanders, or Beijing Biden, or fucking Pete fucking fuck me up the ass Buddha fucking fag. Wasn't going to fucking vote for fucking, uh, fucking any of the squad. Wasn't going to vote for, like, fucking any of them, pretty much. Fucking the fake fucking Pocahontas. <laughs> Wasn't gonna... The worst of the worst. Out of every single one of them, the worst candidate by far, even worse than Hillary Clinton, was 
uh, what's his fucking name? The fucking Irish dude who pretends to be Spanish. The guy who went down to fucking Mexico to campaign. I shit you not. What was his fucking name? Beto, Beto O'Rourke. That guy. His real name, I think, is Francis. That guy was the absolute worst. But here we are, you know, 2020, and hell yeah, I fucking voted for Trump. It's the first time I voted for an actual candidate that was on the fucking ballot. And I thought, you know, like everybody else did, even the fucking Democrats and the liberals thought fucking Trump was going to win. My wife works at a nursing home. And it is, she works in a kind of lower management there. And she is just surrounded. Her, her like office is like right next door to the kitchen. She used to work in the kitchen with all the females there before she got promoted. And just everyone in the fucking kitchen wearing their little caps. Just fucking everyone there. Um, they all hate Trump. All the middle and, and upper management. So like you got like, you got Mexicans, Mexican women, uh, Marshall Islander women, um, Cubans, uh, Filipinos, and uh, Asians that are all working there in the kitchen. My wife was like in there with all of them. And they all fucking hate Trump. And then she gets to middle management where a couple of her... Um, like co-workers work and they're all I shit you not, not uh, white lesbians there's four of them including my wife there's my wife who's the straight black girl who voted for Trump and then there's this white lesbian chick and then there's two other white lesbian chicks who are married to each other they fucking hate Trump even more and then upper upper management consists of two Filipino gay dudes. Anyway, my story here is, my point is, you know, she tells me some of the shit that, that they all say and what they believe in and stuff like that. It is, it is, if there was a button that could literally nuke whatever city Trump was in, killing him and his family and everybody in it, they, they would all press it. <laughs> so... You know, it's fucking nuts up here. It's fucking nuts up here. So, I forget what my original point was, but my point is, is I voted for him once. I didn't vote, vote for him the first time because I thought he was a horrible choice. But, you know, actions speak louder than words. I really like his peace agreements he's doing in the Middle East. He's the first president in, I think, like 35 years or maybe longer that hasn't started a new war. Like, straight the fuck up. Obama. They, his nickname's Obama. You know, world record for drone strikes. Said we, we were going to do less wars following fucking Bush's fucking rampage. What did he do? He started new wars. Fucking lying piece of shit. We got less wars with Trump. He didn't start any new wars. I like that. We had a record economy. I like that. Like, I was starting to feel it, you know? My wife's paychecks were getting bigger. We were just doing better off. You know, prices here and there were going down because free trade was going up. People were just pouring more money into things. Uh, vendors weren't pressured to overprice things. Like, things were going good. And then fucking all the Democrats fucking voted to lock everything down. Ah. <sighs> And then social media layered on top of that. That was my whole social media rant. It's just everything was just going to shit. I've never been a guy to like get my posts and shit taken down off of social media. Because I'm not on there. But that's because I don't want to be on there. I was already at this stage before all that shit. But I've been watching this story unfold and things have gotten pretty bad. And I wanted to make this video and talk about it because, well, it's going to be the 20th here. If you didn't know, the 20th is Inauguration Day. That is the day uh, Joe Biden is going to be uh, signed into office, and that is the official day Trump is going to be out. Trump will no longer be your president on the 20th. And things are going to get worse. 
it's not like all the social justice warriors and, you know, the corrupt politicians who produce more ballot, more ballots than voters. <laughs> it's not like they're going to be like, oh, shit, we won. We're good. Let's fucking run. Let's fucking fucking control this fucking ship. Let's steer this fucking ship in the right direction now. We fucking did it, boys. Trump is out. It's not like they're going to fucking do that. You could already see what they're going to fucking do. Biden has already said that they're going to do more lockdowns, which I don't know if I believe now, but he said that. And that's that's my point. He says one thing, does the other. He doesn't want to say what he's going to fucking do because he doesn't want to alienate certain voters. Now he's saying he's going to do one thing and then he's going to say he's going to do the opposite. He's already lying. He's already fucking lying. But, uh, you know, the, the more lockdowns are coming, and then you got, like, fucking people in cahoots with them, like uh, Fauci lying and saying, he's lied fucking twice. First of all, he lied about fucking wearing masks. Do you believe this shit? He fucking lied and said that we shouldn't, do you, if anyone remembers, Dr. Fauci came out and said, you know, masks don't do anything, you don't have to wear masks. And then he got, like, heavily criticized for that, and then he changed his mind and said, okay... Okay, yeah, yeah, the research shows you should wear a mask. A lot of people are confused about that. A lot of people just chalked it up to him not knowing what he's talking about, that he's dumb. Fauci isn't dumb. Fauci isn't a moron. He's just a liar. He lied and told the normies during our mask shortage not to wear masks. So him and his crony establishment friends and uh, the first responders and the likes so they could have their masks so the elite could have theirs and you can go without that is the reason why he lied that is the reason why he said don't wear masks and then he lied again and covered it up after the fact and said that oh well the research now shows he knew what he was doing he just fucking lied and then what did he do he said for everyone to uh, get herd immunity, we needed, uh, what did he say, 50 to 60% of the population to get COVID. You know what that number is now? 90%. Sometimes he said 70, sometimes he says 85. I think in one, review we, uh, one um, interview he said 70. But he's lying to us. N now you need to know what I really think. He's just a liar. And I don't care what the reason is why. I just know why he's doing it, and that makes me not like that side all the more. Media is working together with uh, doctors and politicians. It's the establishment. It's the fucking establishment. The establishment lost in 2016. They fucking lost. They gained back control now. And shit is going to be so much worse because they're going to do everything in their power to make sure another Trump never happens again. They're fucking impeaching the guy again for the second term. And it's not because they want him to be this, the only president in history to ever be impeached twice. That's not why they're doing it. I'm sure they like that. They like the sound of that. Ooh, the first ever to be impeached twice. What a, what a bastard. <laughs> I'm sure they like that. That ain't the reason why, though. They're trying to make it so that if he's convicted in these court cases, I, I've been saying this for a while, they're not going to leave him alone after he leaves office. Like I said, they're not going to leave. They're not going to say, okay, we won, let's go. They're going to continue to harass him. They're going, they're hoping that he will get impeached and there will be an actual trial, which a lot of people are saying that nothing is going to come of it. Because there's no evidence and shit there. I wouldn't be so sure. I wouldn't be so sure. I really wouldn't. I thought Trump had it in the bag this time. Even, that was my point with my uh, wife's co-worker uh, story. Is even they thought Trump was going to win. They were like, yeah, he's going to fucking win. I hate the guy, but fuck it. Yeah, he's going to fucking win. Four more years of Trump. That's what everybody at her work was saying. All the gays. All the lesbians. All the immigrants, they were all saying they were, he was going to win. They themselves didn't even believe Biden was going to win. But Biden won. I mean, he cheated for sure, but he won. Nobody, nobody saw that coming. Biden winning is more of a fucking m blows my mind more than fucking than Trump won back in 2016. 
I didn't think he was going to win back in 2016, but I knew there was a chance. I knew there was kind of a chance. Like, I saw the writing on the wall. I saw that people were tired of the, the bullshit. I saw that people just wanted something different. I saw that, you know, even though he was a wild card, the Republican still had his back. I saw that. And I was like, yeah, he probably ain't going to fucking win, but, you know, you know, weirder things have happened. Biden winning in uh, 2020 is the weirder thing, in my opinion. Nobody thought he was going to fucking win. Not even fucking uh, the Democrats. But he won. And uh, they ain't going to leave Trump alone. They want to make sure that he can't come back and win a second term. That's why they're fucking doing it. My only question is, is what are they going to do to everyone else? You know, I'm afraid of shit. I mean, I know it sounds weird. Like, I'm just some fucking bearded white dude making videos in what was it, his basement. Fucking, oh, on the second floor, bitch. <laughs> making fucking uh, gaming videos and stuff. But try being a bearded white guy in, uh, like, in Montana versus Seattle, a Seattle suburb. Big fucking difference. Big fucking difference. Yeah, I walked my wife to work this morning, and as I was walking back, there was a black guy, and I think his little white wife or girlfriend. They were walking, they were holding hands, and they were walking on my side of the sidewalk. They both had their masks on, interacting with nobody outside, by themselves, on the sidewalk, wearing their masks. Okay. And they saw me, I was maskless, because I'm by myself, not talking or interacting with anybody. <laughs> you know what I mean? And they saw me, they were way the fuck down the line, and they saw me, and they ran across the street. I thought the chick was someone I knew. I was like, is that Alma? And then they booked it with the swiftness. I was like, that ain't Alma, she can't fucking go that fast. Alma's old. <laughs> and I was like... Why did, why did they just bust across the street? Oh, it's because they didn't want to walk past someone not wearing a mask. Like, I'm, I wasn't, like, co <coughs> coughing or anything. It was, didn't, it's just the insanity. People are so scared of everything. And that's the way the government wants things. They want people to be afraid. So, I just wanted to make this video real quick and just kind of vent and give my thoughts on the bullshit. <sighs> because, you know, I don't want to really talk about it all that much. And I wanted to make this video before the 20th. So you guys could know what to look for and so I could say I told you so. But, you know, be afraid. Because I'm afraid. I, I don't want to lie and say there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just that the things that I'm afraid of aren't the same things that other people are afraid of. You know, I don't want to have children because I don't want my kids being indoctrinated in schools. I don't want the fucking teachers making me sign a fucking petition, not a petition, but a fucking document saying that I'm not allowed to even walk in and observe the curriculum because they're fucking sneaking in communist manifestos in there and shit. I'm afraid of fucking, uh, Black Lives Matter fucking walking past my apartment bu building, uh, my condo and stuff here, and fucking torching our place down because they heard some guy yell Trump or something like that, you know? I'm I'm afraid of shit, too. There's lockdowns up here. There's, there's stores that are... There's fucking... Uh, I, I live right down here on a street, the main arterial that, that that's below me. And... It's it's it, it's a nicer neighborhood, and there's uh, small businesses everywhere. There's a there's a fucking there's a couple of bars. There is a um, hot dog shop. There is um, this Vietnamese restaurant. Tons of different types of restaurants. There is uh, like a needle and thread place, like a crafting store, and a bunch of other weird places too. There's more than one like coffee shop. Seattle, we do coffee. That's one thing that really bothers me. A lot of people make fun of coffee drinkers, especially coffee drinkers from Seattle. They equate everyone to fucking, um, <clears throat> like, liberal, let me sip on my fucking cappuccino and then fucking tweet on Twitter and fucking social justice. It's like, that's 
it, coffee's been part of fucking the fucking Seattle ecosystem for a long fucking time. We just love fucking coffee there. Yeah, every time I go to the fucking Starbucks, there's some weird fucking mutant. But, you know, we like our fucking coffee. I like my fucking coffee. Don't be talking shit about coffee. <laughs> just because you live in Arizona or, you know, fucking Kentucky or some shit. Fucking Pennsylvania. Vermont. I don't fucking know. Don't be talking shit about my coffee. I love coffee. Yeah, we got a couple coffee shops here, too. My point is, not all of them are up. Like, they're condemned. Like, they, they boarded up. And they're out of business. They ain't coming back. And it sucks. That's the way... That's that's how things are affecting me personally. Because I have been affected personally. I haven't been physically or verbally accosted by a stranger on the street. You know, or anything like that. Because, you know, I was wearing a fucking MAGA hat out in public or anything like that. I haven't been verbally or physically accosted... Uh, I'm kind of like in hiding mode. I'm not going out of my way to hide. You know what I mean? Like if I... Like if I had a reason to fucking shout Trump from the rooftops, I would do that. I just don't have a reason to. <clears throat> I don't have a reason to put that out there. But if, if it came down to the fucking line and I was fucking questioned, you know, I wouldn't fucking uh, pull a Judas. I wouldn't fucking pull a Judas. I wouldn't take the fucking, uh, the fucking handful of silver. I really wouldn't. That's not what I'm afraid of. What I'm afraid of is... Uh, maybe that is what I'm afraid of. I am afraid of that happening. But like I said, I'm not gonna fucking do it. I'm not gonna put myself in harm's way. I'm not gonna go out of my way to do that shit like so many others are. But, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see if that time ever comes. We'll see if I ever have to fucking defend my home. We'll see if I ever have to... You know, I ain't gonna go out and march. I ain't gonna wave no fucking sign. I don't care if it says BLM or MAGA on it. I ain't gonna hold a fucking sign. I ain't gonna hold a fucking sign. I don't give a fuck. But I will say this, though. <clears throat> At the beginning of this video here... Thanks for listening to me, bitch, for fucking almost an hour. I'm gonna wrap it up here. I said about everything I wanted to say, which was a whole lot of nothing. I just wanted to vent. But at the beginning of my video, I said I didn't give a fuck anymore. Here's what I mean. Everybody was rioting and burning shit down. Burning down small businesses. Attacking and assaulting regular civilians on the street. Waving Black Lives Matter flags around. Uh, you know, occupying, I mean, the occupied Chaz on Capitol Hill. Here in, uh, here in Seattle. Yeah. That shit's not fucking cool. Nobody gave a fuck then. Nobody gave a fuck. The media was calling riots the language of the unheard. And the people have spoken. And then they did that shit on, uh, up there in, uh, in D.C. Except it was the wrong type of people. Then it was an insurrection. They just wandered around aimlessly. I watched a fucking interview with a fucking guy, uh, uh, a journalist that, that was there. He had his journalist pass on. He was fucking... There was guys in the lobby just smoking weed, rolling, them, rolling one up. You know, there's an old lady wandering around. Yeah, there was some violence there, I guess. Some of it was Antifa that infiltrated. Some of it, not all of it. But uh, let's just go back a little bit further. We had fucking these riots all over uh, the United States for over a year. For like 18 fucking months. 18 fucking months burning things down. Watching the economy collapse. Attacking civilians. Nobody gave a fuck. The politicians didn't give a fuck. The media wouldn't call them out. And the fucking idiots that it did affect, like the fucking business owners, what did they do? Did they stand up for their rights? Did they shoot fucking people fucking breaking into their stores? The looters and shit? No. What did they fucking do? They went out and joined them. They put Black Lives Matter fucking uh, signs in their windows so their fucking storefront wouldn't get it, uh, their, its windows broken and attacked. They bent the knee. <clears throat> they don't care. 
and the people kept voting for them. They kept fucking, fucking our fucking um, our fucking mayor in Seattle, the Seattle mayor. After the Chaz incident, well, during the Chaz incident, they wanted to vote him out. They wanted to essentially evoke the Twenty Fifth Amendment. Twenty Fifth Amendment, vote him out. And when I heard that, I was like, yes, finally, some accountability for this spineless piece of shit who didn't do a goddamn thing when fucking literal gang members were overthrowing uh, the fucking, uh, the, the federal fucking uh, courthouse and the fu in the Capitol Hill zone and the police station and shit there. What did he do? He did nothing. They're finally fucking kicking him out for that fucking failure on a fucking managerial fucking political level. That's not why they wanted to kick him out. They wanted to kick him out because they fucking, uh, uh, the, he ordered his people, he ordered the cops to use tear gas in one time against the protesters or the, the rioters. My bad. What? These fucking idiots, and what I mean by these idiots in this context, I've talked about the Black Lives Matter idiots, the Antifa idiots, the politician idiots, the rioting idiots. The American people, the people who voted for these people in the first place, these idiots, the people who saw the destruction rod across the country and still voted for them. Even if Joe Biden wasn't fucking... Didn't cheat, even if he didn't cheat, which he did. Not necessarily him, but, you know, people in power. Even if no cheating was going on, you still have people that would have voted for him. Idiots. Nobody gave a fuck. And now, here we are, and fucking, um... The fucking, uh, the MAGA riot in D.C. happened... And, uh, now everybody gives a fuck. Now every... I, I denounce violence. I, I'm not... Like I said, I'm not a flag waver. I'm not for any fucking side. You know, fuck the left. And fuck those MAGA fucking people who fucking stormed the fucking capital. I'm not for that. But I don't... That doesn't mean I, I have to be against it. That doesn't mean... That would imply I give a fuck. I really don't anymore. I'm fucking done. I'm noping out. And I just I just don't care. I don't care about these politicians that lie. I'm not going to fucking lift a fucking finger to fucking rally for them or to help them or to vote for them. I'm done voting. I'm not going to vote for Biden. I'm not going to vote for Trump. I'm not going to vote for anyone. Especially if it has a D or an R attached to their name. I'm not going to vote for you. And it's not just the fucking Democrats. It's the fucking Republicans that don't do jack fucking shit. They don't do jack fucking shit. Fucking part of the reason why uh, Trump lost is because he didn't do anything about social media and or the media in general. Now, a lot of people are saying, oh, revoking uh, Section 230. I think it's 230. I get numbers confused, hella. It might be something completely different, but you know what I'm talking about. He's talking about revoking, uh, repealing Section 230. To so uh, you know Facebook and Twitter and the like don't have their protections and a lot of people are like no that would end let it end then let it fucking end let fucking uh, YouTube and Google and Twitter go fucking under permanently because they couldn't sustain all the fucking lawsuits then everybody would fucking be out off of a fucking platform I'm fine with that like I said I'm not on social media it's fucking cancer anyways why the fuck do I give a fuck I don't. But he didn't do jack fucking shit to protect himself. It's it's his own fucking fault as far as I'm concerned. And then you got the Democrats flipping on him. I'm not the Democrats, but the Republicans flipping on Trump. So they're all spineless. Everybody. In the fucking government. I don't. This is the first time I fucking voted for an actual person on the ballot. And I'm not going to do that again. I'm not going to fucking do that again. Those, why should I, why should I help people or vote for people who uh, refuse to help themselves? Not about that, but I don't give a fuck anymore about 
you know, any of this shit. I don't give a fuck about politics. They're all fucking bad. All of them. All of them. Um, I don't give a fuck about these cities that are burning anymore. Because the people living in those cities don't give a fuck. And the politicians that rule over it, they don't give a fuck. And the people keep voting for the people that do this. You know, like I said, I'm in the Seattle area. You know, nothing's burned down in my specific area, and I'm very lucky for that. But, you know, something will happen. It's only gotten worse. Even if you just rewind to 2016, the worst was just people in the streets yelling, No! And it's funny, and you could make a meme out of it. The world didn't end... In fact, we had a great economy after that, but, you know, that was, that was, that was the most of it. Some random thug smacking someone's MAGA hat off their head. And it being filmed. That's the worst. That's the worst that happened. Now you're getting fucking people who are getting shot because they're wearing a MAGA hat. Now you're getting people getting shot and killed in the streets. You're getting fucking riots, burning cities down. Not entire cities, but, you know, businesses and stuff in cities. In Kenosha, in Portland, Seattle. Like I, like I said, I, I'm here. I'm witnessing this shit. It's scary stuff, and it's only ramped up. It's only ramped up. Um, and it's only going to get worse. Only going to fucking get worse. And I don't care anymore. And the only reason why I don't care is because nobody else does. Nobody else does. I've never been the type of guy to be the only one that cares. Like, I'm the only one that gives a fuck, and everybody else doesn't. And I'm sitting here virtue signaling because I'm the only one that cares. Look how great I am. Uh, I've just never been that guy. I, I will look around a room and be like, y'all don't give a shit? You don't care. You... Okay. Okay, then, I lost. If you guys are okay with it, I'm okay with it. The only thing I ask is don't fuck with my shit when it's my fucking turn because I see you guys don't give a fuck. Of course they do. They just, you know, as we saw, you know, with the MAGA uh, riot, you know, they do give a fuck. They just don't give a fuck when it's their people doing it. But when it's the other side, do they say... Rioting is the uh, the voice of the people of the unheard. No, they don't say that. But uh, I'm not a rioting guy. I'm not a. I'm not gonna hold no one's fucking banner. I don't give a fuck. The only one, the only person's banner I'm holding is my own. And I don't give a fuck. No one else does. So you know, let Seattle burn. No one cares. Everyone's gonna vote for the people to fucking watch it burn. Um. It'll be okay, because, you know, we're waving a Black Lives Matter. It's 2021. Why? 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 Who? Why? <laughs> no one's up just because some fucking nog got knelt on. <laughs> yeah, that was bad, but it wasn't even racially motivated. Hell, he didn't even kill him. He overdosed, because he saw the cops come and he fucking... Fucking ate that shit like a fucking idiot. <laughs> wow. Man, no one cares. No one. Nobody cares. Not even the fucking people waving the flags. I mean, there's some useful idiots out there. But, you know... No one fucking gives a fuck. The politicians don't. The people don't. Why should I? The answer is I don't anymore, so... You know, I've never been, never been a, a Trump supporter, never been a MAGA guy, never been a Republican. But it did look better on that side than the other side for multiple reasons. They have more scruples. They're more honorable. The problem is, is they are stupid, and they're spineless, and I can't necessarily get behind that. But even then, that's that's way above board. Way better than anything on, on, on the Democrat side. But, uh, you know, it's still not good enough. Nobody nobody wants to fix anything. Nobody wants to repair anything. Nobody wants to put money where it counts. I still haven't gotten my fucking $600 check yet. Not that it would make any fucking difference. 
I don't need it, but you know, I haven't gotten my $600 check yet. $600. We should be getting almost $3,000 from the uh, the amount of money in that fucking bill. Anyway, no one gives a fuck anymore about these burning cities or holding anyone accountable. Everybody just wants to scream and yell and blame someone else. And it's not my fucking fight anymore. It kind of was there for a second. But it's really not my fucking fight anymore. I really don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if some white bearded guy gets accosted. He, he, as long as it ain't fucking me. You know, I don't give a fuck. I, I tried. I tried voting for the right person. I tried fucking giving my opinion. Um, I'm canceled everywhere anyway. Like, I got, like, it was a porn account, for Christ's sake, and I still got fucking DMCA'd off of fucking Twitter. Um, I got fucking chastised by my own fucking friends and family on Facebook. Um, and then my, my actual fucking is turbo accounts, like on the IGNs, and let me, let me, let me, let me go down a list of all my official is turbo accounts I'm banned from. IGN, GameSpot, GameFAQs. Rock Paper Shotgun, VG247, uh, Dual Shockers, R Slash Gaming, and a couple others, a few others, a few other major ones. And a lot of the weird niche social justice warrior ones I went into to kind of shit post, like a, a Game of Sutra, and uh, there's like this hardcore feminist one made one fucking post asking a question they all freaked out on me but i was just shit posting there i was just shit posting there but yeah banned from all of them banned from all of them all for various degrees of social justice even back before social justice was even a thing just people yelling at you for wrong think just the first time that shit happened and you had to like take a step back and go go like hold on what's going on here it was clearly a fucking joke I didn't violate the rules. I didn't actually call them any names. Like, I'm not flaming them. Like, I'm cool with them. Like, dude, say somethings. You know? I, I, like, invited them to the mod mail to be part of the conversation so he could be like, yeah, he didn't, uh... Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're cool. He, you know, I took no offense. But no, 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 they wouldn't allow it. Like, like back in the day. I couldn't believe what was fucking going on. They were canceling me. But yeah, I don't, I don't give a fuck anymore. That's part of the reason why I'm on YouTube. It's so I can just say what I want to fucking say. And I think I'll, I, I could be on here. Uh, two things need to happen for me to stay on here. Number one, I need to stay small. If my channel grows above 1,000, um, I won't be able to fly under the radar anymore. And number two, uh, the algorithm needs to stay stupid now the algorithm has gotten better on youtube and other platforms mainly youtube to be able to uh not only demonetize but to censor content videos and stuff but um, as long as it stays dumb it won't be able to pick up the fact that i said you know fag a couple of times and automatically just like delete my video from existence once that starts happening then i'll be like inadvertently canceled because i don't know if i'll be able to tone down my language just because I want to be on a platform where, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe 10 people see my videos. I don't know. I just don't give a fuck. Here's what I do give a fuck about, though. I do give a fuck about it. gaming. I do give a fuck about the industry. And I do give a fuck about playing video games. And that's part of the reason why I do what I do the way I do it. I don't like to make tons of videos. Um, I like to vent. I like to talk some shit. I like to say what I want to say and bounce the fuck out of there. Um, I want to just spend more time gaming. And I've been playing a lot of good games. I've been playing uh, some good stuff. I still want to squeeze in my uh, Xbox game, top 100 games of the Xbox generation. That, that, that series is still coming. It's taken a while. I already squeezed in... Uh, Jedi Fallen Order into that one. That's a good fucking game. I'm, I'm playing Crash 4. Wow, I'm really loving Crash 4. Um, and I'm playing some other games too. But that's the type of thing I want to do. I would love a world of where I could just talk about video games and not have to fucking swear. Not have to fucking say any 
thing weird that will offend anybody. But it's just, if you don't offend anyone, like, there's no soul there. You have to... I don't know. I kind of half believe in that. I mean, I could look at something and go, well, if you ain't offending anyone, you know, you're not really... You're just being bland. You're not very, really that interesting. But I only half believe in that. The other half I believe in is that people are just offended about anything. You can be the most family-friendly motherfucker, and there's still someone that's getting offended. You know? So, I don't know. Anyway, thanks for listening to me, bitch. Uh, I just wanted to fucking rant. And... Yeah, that's it. Th this is my off-topic. I'm going to try to do something. I'm going to upload it and set it to private. And I'm not going to unprivate it until I have my other video up. Um, but I got a list. I got a fucking list of gaming shit I want to fucking talk about. Because finally we got some gaming news. I just thought I'd squeeze this off topic in here before the 20th. But uh, mark my words. It's going to get worse after the 20th. Um, it really is. Because there's no one going to be in their fucking way anymore. And they're going to keep suppressing... And they're going to keep censoring, and even though it hasn't come to my personal doorstep yet, it has affected me personally in a lot of ways, both online and in the real world. But sooner or later, it's going to come to my actual doorstep, and I don't know what form is it, it's going to be in. It's probably going to be because of my YouTube channel. I said I said, said the N-word or something like that. I don't know. But those are my thoughts. Those are my feelings. I don't know what else to say. Thanks for listening to me, bitch. Uh... Blah, blah, blah. Ugh, want to get the weirds out a little bit, too. I haven't made a video in, like, a couple of weeks. And when I actually do my serious video where I'm talking about shit, I want to actually get my shit together a little bit. See you later, guys. Peace out. What do I say? Keep on gaming, everyone. Oh, this ain't a gaming video. Fuck off.